So welcome back to this second drive video. In the previous video, we had of course, you know, been working with our car here and we'd sketched in all of the, you know, major motion that's gonna be taking place throughout the entirety of our animation. Obviously, leaving everything reasonably loose and smooth. And so we're gonna continue on from that point to add in all of the final stuff and the finishing touches to it. So now that we've got all of that stuff laid down, it's time to start working in some of the extra detail on our actual vehicle motion here. What's important to note about the detail that we're working on is of course, to a certain extent, we are working on something of a physical or physics type animation. You know, we want to get the mechanics right so that the, you know, the, the timing and the sense of momentum and movement and all of that is, you know, behaving itself properly with our vehicle and our animation. But also what we're starting now to work on with this kind of motion that we haven't done with things like the, you know, the pendulum and the bouncing ball is we're getting into what we will really call character. How is this so? Well, it comes from, of course, you know, the different sorts of moves that we're having our, you know, driver here um, create. He does, you know, the handbrake turn at this point because he's, you know, tried to shoot out around that car and he's over accelerated before his turn. So he needs to brake really hard to make that corner. The way that he thinks to put himself out to the side like this and keep this tight line in attempt to take this corner there at speed but misses it the way that he breaks in you know anticipation of taking this corner here these are all things that are coming from the intention of the character behind the wheel so what we need to be able to do what we need to be able to illustrate in this motion isn't just you know decent mechanics of the motion itself but we also need to start injecting that bit of character to give it feeling, to give it meaning, to give it a sense of purpose. One thing that helps us is the perspective that we have on the motion. We've already seen how it looks sort of a bit different when you look at it in the top view like this compared to when you actually see it in perspective view. So one thing that I've done here at this point is to set up a camera along the path so that we can actually, you know, see him, you know, driving along and get a sense of his speed, his motion, and all of that. And again, even though it looks, you know, a little bit slow in certain parts when you view it from above, once you actually get it going in camera view like this, it starts to look an awful lot speedier. So having this view, or set of views, as I should say, set up for us will help us a lot whilst we're coming to start putting in some of this detail work. So let's go back to near the start here and begin working on this fellow somewhat. So he's coming along. We've already got him turning around there, so that's all good. That's, you know, nice enough. Okay, so we have that little side drift. So let's just work on his turning ever so slightly in this. And again, we're gonna put our auto key to modified channel so as we don't mess other things up. And let's make sure where we are. We're gonna put in the little detail bit of turn on the shift item here. So as he comes across like that, I'm just gonna make sure that he's keyed there and also here, and then somewhere in between like that, I'll just put an extra bit of turn on him so that he's not doing such a complete sideways drift. Of course, if you watch, you know, vehicles in motion, when you turn at a shallow angle going at speed, the car does seem to drift side to side ever so slightly. So you wanna keep a touch of that in here, but not too much. Okay, so there, he's really over turning a little bit. So let's just pull that back on that frame. And there he looks good. Again, I think just line him up sort of tangentially to his path a little bit there. Makes that a bit more natural. And we'll just tease him over at this point as well. See how he works in between there. I think that goes pretty nicely. Okay, so there we're getting a turn and a bit of a drift, which is okay. It's not so, so bad. Let's see, perhaps we can scooch him a little bit more on the in-between here. And I certainly think that we can, like that, start to bring him round just that little bit quicker. 
he holds his line nicely throughout here and then of course we get the turn round there which is pretty swift which I think we are broadly pleased with let's just have a look at it at normal playback speed to see how that really appears again it's got that little nip out on it so I might grab his Z position just make sure I'm keyed off either side of that and push it back again slightly here so we're compressing those frames a little bit there we go the result of that is that he comes a bit off his angle there so let's fix that somewhat at the in-between and take a close look at how that now appears that certainly looks better to me let's give it another little run through here to make sure that I am happy yeah see we get that little slight slowdown now as he takes the corner that's a little better than we had before so I'm pleased with that coming up here uh, it's a little bit of little bit of oversteer, but I think that that's that's quite reasonably good there. I'll bring him more tangential to his path at this frame here, so he's just hugging that curve a little bit better. And now at this in between, he's really drifting. So let's pull him up almost fully tangential to his path, so we get a tiny bit of drift, but not much. There we go. He should be there around at this point, but I think somewhere here. At the in-between he still needs to be tucked up a little bit like that again at that point let's have him turned down somewhat and we'll have him similarly whipped at his in-between so he sort of does a little whip like this real hard little pop of steering going on there and he's holding that line nicely as he comes down to this corner and is starting to drift off path a little bit somewhere in here so let's just connect him back like that and make sure that of course at that previous keyframe he was holding his path well as well otherwise that's giving him a little little dodge that's good now I think he's perhaps going a little harsh there so let's bring him right back so he's turning a bit more slowly obviously he slowed his you know acceleration down and so we shouldn't have him turning into it too quickly either so that's pretty good and we'll have him correcting out of it properly by this point here I think should be enough let's just give that a little playback through this whole section just to see how that looks comes along oh nice turn there yep weaves that's quite good keeps going along and yep okay that's a nice smooth turn that we've got in there now Okay, we're getting another drift past this point. I think there he should be just a little bit more aligned. You can see that we've still kept the alignment through there, so that's good. So it's gonna be quite swift after here as he starts to turn himself in. So I think by this frame, we should have gotten him like this already. So that gives him a you know reasonably swift dodge in. Let's go to that next frame. Okay, that's more or less correct, let's just pull him off a little bit there and go back to some other in between earlier before it which I think should be about here and let's see so he's coming along does that turn in yeah okay very good here he definitely needs to be turning harder so that's fine pop that onto the path there okay nice turn yep and we come pretty much into line at the next frame there that's good let's check him at this one okay again let's keep him tangential to his path there just check the in-between section yep that's smooth through there starting to drift a lot and that's because he doesn't have much in the way of in-between frames there that's fine so let's just straighten him up a bit at this point again to line up with his path some there we go and yeah now he's coming around here and I am gonna pull him back like this so again keep him tangential to his path just there and that gives him a quick hard turn like that oh look at that nice convenient frame there make sure that his heading is held but he's gonna do a quick sharp turn after that of course as he nips out around this car there and trying to of course pull himself around the next one there we go good now this is where we're getting into the interesting part of the turn so we'll make sure he's lined up there 
we'll turn him back out here so he's a bit more tangential and keep him lined up there so let's have a good look through all of that in between stuff there he's starting to veer off a bit too much so let's keep him lined up there so we need the same somewhat here holding him off a bit there we go he's starting to drift a bit much now obviously he's coming through his handbrake turn here so that is going to be a tough little tween so let's just make sure for the minute that it's actually you know smooth and then we can work on the detailing of the in-between afterwards actually that's quite a good hard little corner that he takes at the minute it's got a good hard sort of break turn you know really quite hard action to it so i like that we'll keep that as it is for now comes in here nicely okay he runs further out he's pretty much holding rotation as necessary on his path along there we can just give him a little tease at that point and double check the in between here yeah to make sure he's all nice and clean just make sure he's held on his path up until then and then at this keyframe going to want to have started to turn him quite harshly comes around his turn that keyframe over there to be more lined up and so we're going to need some tweening as he comes out of that turn let's make sure that we keep him around about like this at this point and as he comes out of the bend here we also keep him over tangentially like this and then he's bringing it back straight by this point and that's all good keeping in line up until here let's line that back up we can see that all of the in-betweens there are pretty good and then he just carries on along straight more or less like that okay so that seems like we've done a decent enough job there so let's give it a watch see how it all behaves it is going along looking nice good line nice sense of turn there that's pretty good quite swift but nicely held yep same there it's pretty good a little dodge might work in a little correction but that will be fine coming along that was maybe a little bit fast there let me just go back and correct that let me show you what i'm talking about um, it is here so he comes up uh, so is that is that too fast let's just review yeah i think he's maybe dodging around there a little bit swiftly so let's just bring that out by one two three four five six to here shall we and key is heading at that point and then we'll go back and delete that one i think that should smooth it off just a little let's watch it through again yeah that's better okay it's a swift turn but not overly swift we come down and woo -hoo, whip around this corner there quick dodge off the pavement which i like very hard turn there that's good coming through a little slow and there we go we'll work then more into this idea of character and sort of action going on with this guy um, and to do that we're gonna make a couple of small observations along the way such as um, well, I mean, these two corners here actually, I think, provide an excellent example. If we watch them in playback, then, you know, in top view, it looks pretty good. Um, you know, nothing nothing too wrong there. But this second corner particularly, which he takes, a, you know, a fair bit of speed, um, certainly looking at it from the camera view here. What do we see? Well, I mean, look at how well that, that vehicle is hugging the road there. I mean, this thing must have traction control like nothing else. I mean, look at it. It's turning like it's on a rail so let's you know work in at this point some extra little fun details and what we're going to use for that will be the slide pivot item that we've got so let's jump back to zero and we're going to use this to bring out a bit of fishtailing a bit of you know sliding the rear end out so what i'll do is position it between the front wheels here and that means that i can rotate the entire car from that point there so that'll this will give us a little bit of fishtaily action going on so let's run through our whole you know motion here see what we've got you know all pretty clean through there nothing too major okay he whips over here and i think that coming out of this turn as he turns quite hard i'm gonna put a little bit on so We'll find the moment there where he hits nice and straight. I'm going to key it to hold it there. And as he comes around here, I'm going to slide that rear end out somewhat. Is that a bit too much? I don't know. Let's see, shall we? So there, 
Well, hey, that's quite a harsh, harsh slide there. So I'm actually going to bring that back a little bit. Don't want to oversell it too much. And as he comes up here and starts to regain, I'm going to push that back to zero again. So that should give him a little bit of extra life as he takes the corner there. So there we go. Yep, see, that gives it just that little bit of extra pop. And we're going to do something similar here, I think. So let's see. There he begins to turn. I think he's beginning to drift a little bit at this point already. So I think that by here, we'll have drifted him somewhat and we'll hold him in that drift, let's say just for a few frames till about there. And then quite swiftly, I'm going about 10 frames there. I'll bring him back to straight again. So that'll give him a little pop. That's yes, very nice. That could even potentially go a little bit faster. So I'm going to bring that down by two. There we go. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to run out, let's say, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So half a second. And then at the midpoint, one, two, three, four, five, six, I'm going to bump him over a little bit the other way. So he has sort of a little, you know, nudge as he comes out of it. Yep, he does that little bob. The weight of the vehicle corrects itself. See how that plays? Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. It could perhaps be a little bit faster, but for the moment, I think that works out pretty nicely. Okay, coming here, we're definitely going to have a nice big slide. He is slowing down, of course, a bit. You know, he's braking some as he takes this corner here. But as we see, there's clearly a lot of sideways momentum coming in from that point. So I think that really it's going to start grabbing him. You know, his weight is still traveling. Let's say around about here, I think, right out until he's out at this point. And that's where his tail will have really slid over like this. So let's see how that looks. Comes around. Yeah, it gets a reel out like that. Really spins out. And we've started to bring him back by here and by 10. We'll have scooted him slightly the other way. And then we'll give him a little reset just a few frames later. So let's just see how that plays. Comes through. Big tail slide. It is perhaps just a little too big. So let's bring it down. Let's not overshoot it as much there. I also want to check the timing because the timing itself might just be a little bit out. Yeah, I think he's popping out into that a bit late. He should really start that tail slide a little earlier. At the moment, it's only beginning out here. I think it should be beginning a little bit sooner, perhaps somewhere around there. So let's bring that back to 28. And it should also be happening a little faster. So let's bring it out at that point, 38 here. There we see it makes a nice line. And again, you see this sort of difference that you get between the two, between the top view here and the camera view camera view that actually looks pretty good you could even oversell it more that you know extreme slide that I had on a moment ago looked pretty good in camera view it just looked a little weird in top view but otherwise for the present I think that's pretty good so we're obviously going to do something similar at this corner here which is a really fast corner he's taking and I'm going to key it to make it occur as he's hitting the edge of his corner here um, you know, as he's really pushing over. So let me see. I think that's going to be around here where his, you know, his um, drift, his shift control is right out. So I'm going to create a key there. And then as he comes around here, that's where he's going to have really spun like this. And yes, there we see that works well. You get this overshoot of the rear end like that. And you sort of drift just for a few frames, let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, we'll hold him there. And then another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, steering hard. And so it starts to pull back in the opposite direction like that. Let's just see how that's playing. Yep, that's not bad. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Gonna kind of reset him, I think, by that point. So let's just see how that appears to play. Yeah, that works nicely, especially in our camera view. That really gives it a sense of a hard, heavy cornering going on there. Now, this slower corner that he's taking, he has, of course, got reduced speed, so we won't worry 
so much about it there but what I will say is as he comes around the corner at this point and then of course starts to accelerate I'm going to put a key there and so as he begins to really push the acceleration that will give him a little bit of tail slide and we'll just again weave that out over a few frames like this so he gets a little little weave in his action let's see how we go there yeah so here he goes comes around and whoosh yeah okay i think that works out it may be a little oversold but it's not so bad definitely going to need some here because again he's taking that quite fast i think it's going to be really as we see that turn there starts to occur very quickly so as he comes through that we'll key it here by the halfway point of the turn he started to drift and then coming right out of it like this we'll get some pretty extreme drift going on which will be starting to correct itself a lot by here pretty much I think have worked out by there so let's watch that see how we're playing here and we oh that's quite nice I think and we can even as he comes across here I think we can certainly have pushed him back so there we see again he does this sort of weave with his tail end something like that we'll hold it for a few frames and gradually reset it back again to nice and straight there we go and now this bit this is definitely going to take a heavy slide again it's going to pop in just as he sort of hits his mid turn there i'll just put a frame six before that to hold it so he's just starting slightly to drift at this point and as he comes right around here bang that's the hard drift right here so it's really scooting off like that coming back for a correction here there we go shooting over as he comes out there we'll push him off that way because of course he's taking such a hard turn and bringing him back to straight by this point comes up to his handbrake definite slide here that's pretty much what the handbrake turn is so let's key it there comes right out let's find the extreme point on that which is somewhere around here so let's put him right out like this done a total spin total drift like that let's start bringing him back there whip him back the other way and then straighten him out let's have a look through that whole section that we've done see how it's playing a little drift there comes along oh yes very nice over shoot there wonderful handbrake very fast let me just look at it in camera view here oh yes very quick you see the little you see that little dodge back very nicely in the camera view there as the tail end corrects itself that works out really nicely let's just see that again yeah as the tail end does that little bounce and then we'll have again just a small one here i think we'll key it at the corner point there as he comes out to the straight there that's where he's drifted off slightly keep that held up until about here come further out overshot the other way as he corrects back again and finally straight so let's give that a look we have the handbrake turn comes in here little bit of oversteer very good so let's go through and pop in the old tcb curves on the heading channel for this guy so as we can smooth all of that action out make sure that it's nice and as it wants to be so by default set all of that to one just to begin with and then we'll just come in and look at it in a little bit more detail here so I think that there to there is good we'll put some overshoot here so we just reduce that below one like this and we're just gonna swing that back the other way like that so it's like negative on this frame here this frame can come way down from one so it gets a bit of a hold there and we can again swing that ever so slightly negative just to accentuate the curve out and i can probably reduce that one from one slightly as well and then over here we get this hold again we'll just allow it to you know drift over slightly there so we get a little bit of follow through going on that there all looks good okay these guys here this one can swing slightly negative to again just give that a little more pop 
we've got two keys here so let's set those both to zero and I think that this first one can go slightly negative like that whilst our little hold point here can also drop below one so we get a little bit of overswing this guy here can definitely drop back so that becomes smoother out of there this guy can drop below one a little but then of course so can the one following it quite a bit so that gives us some little overshoot like that and smooths out our curve try these two guys just by default at zero and they seem to hold pretty well and then everything here seems pretty good that definitely doesn't need to be tension one so we can bring that right down so that's smoothed out there then we have this guy here which can definitely go negative to give that a real roll then we've got another hold here so once again we'll just bring that down slightly and I'm actually going to make that slightly asymmetrical so it's got more roll coming in and then starts to work itself out there okay so let's watch it all back and see how our fella appears to be going he's looking pretty nice some nice movement and life there yeah bit of slide on that corner looks good coming round yeah a little bit of a wiggle coming into this corner nice overshoot there looks lively that looks fast see the tail slide really accentuates that quite a lot coming in here breaks for this really quite tight corner accelerates out a bit hard giving himself some tail slide get some good slide coming in there correcting out hard coming across here woo really overshoots on that corner yep we see the little wiggle coming out of there hard handbrake look at that very nice indeed coming round here a little bit over and very tidy indeed okay once we're happy with the details like that which is really you know the path animation of the whole thing and we've started to you know put in some of the actual weight of the body itself to you know give it this sense of follow through and overlap and so on like that we can start to work in other details of the body's physics essentially what we see at the moment of course is that when taking these corners you know the car is still holding very flat obviously it needs to roll around and do stuff on its suspension so we'll work that in next that'll be easiest in a perspective view so I'm just going to hide my actual city there for the minute because that'll only block my view continuously and we'll get hold of the body roll object here so that we can begin rolling him around on his suspension so first thing that we'll do then as he begins to take off here is we'll just turn him back a little bit on his suspension so he gets this you know bit of a lift off effect like that hold that for a couple of frames before setting it back down to zero again we can put a little bit of you know nudge on it if we want so it just gets a little bit of a bounce that's fine so there we go rolling along like this coming broadly straight at this point we've got a slight curve there but not much so we don't need an awful lot else taking place again doing very slow slow turns at the minute okay and now we're coming up there okay so there's our first hard turn like this so let's just watch him as he does this as we can see where we want to really be putting our roll on and I think it's probably going to be starting around here so as he comes there really into the edge of it and we'll tip him over like this so the suspension's taking that there and we'll hold it until probably about here and then I'll dodge it back slightly the other way as it sort of softens and corrects so I suppose we're doing quite soft looking suspension here aren't we and then we'll put it back to zero there so now we see he starts to really gets that idea of speed and weight and action coming in now as we roll his body suspension around the corner okay that's pretty nice let's come along to his next one that there it's got you know some weight to it not too too much but a little bit so let's work on that make sure that that looks you know decent yeah he's certainly sliding a bit there wasn't he? he was doing a bit of a bit of a tail slide so let's say around about here then there as the, the slide comes right over tipped a little bit 
over that way. It will hold that till about there before rocking back ever so slightly to the opposite side, I think, but not so much, and then correcting back to zero like that by this point. So let's have a little look at that. Yeah, OK, look at that. That works really nicely. Once again, it's not such a hard corner that he's taking there, but it is a bit of one. And what I think we'll also do here is, since he is slowing down a little bit as he comes into that, is we'll begin to tip him forwards just a little bit. There we go. Give the idea of the braking a little bit of rock back as he comes out. So let's just play that so as we can actually see it happening, see how it works and goes. Yeah, that's nice. And again, here you see the camera view as he dips forwards and sideways slightly. You get this real idea there of him just touching the brakes as he, you know, hits that corner and then it bobs up again as he, of course, you know, eases off them and hammers back on the accelerator like that. Look at that. Lovely from the camera view. Really lovely. OK, so where next, dear car? Driving along here, it's all reason straight. Oh, OK, now we've got this hard, hard corner here. So really starts to turn there. So that's where I'm going to key his body roll. Let's just appraise myself of how much he sped up or slowed down through this. Bit of slowdown. So again, we do that sort of braking action there. So tip him sideways slightly. Comes right around that corner there. Keep him tipped over ever so slightly more and still keep him tipped forward slightly. But we might ease up that little bit of forwards tip just a scotch. That's really there. The deceleration is starting to, you know, lesson and he's starting to speed up again. I think by this point we'll reset him there, roll him back the other way slightly and begin to pitch him up as his acceleration begins and then back to flat again by this point. And so we can see, yeah, once again we get that lovely little weave action going on in the whole roll of the body there. So very nice again. Let's stick with him as we come up now to this really fast corner that he takes there. So that's going to take, of course, a lot of action. So he's coming in here and just starting to take the turn there about 510. So we're going to go there and then one, two, three, four, five, six. Really just beginning to roll. The forces are taking hold of him like this. And then as he comes round hard there, that's where the body roll really sort of maxes out by that point there. So you see that it's really holding on, gripping the gripping the road there as he weaves around like that. We won't do a braking forwards, as of course he's not doing much braking on this corner, he's really just going for it. And we'll keep that length over for a few frames as he's in mid slide there. So let's say one, two, three, four, five frames. Actually, possibly later, let's wait until he starts to actually correct his slide, shall we? What we'll do is, see, so he starts to correct the slide at that point. So we'll hold his tip until there, and then very swiftly, one, two, three, four, five, we'll push it in the other direction. So this way, the tip of the body, the suspension, is sort of anticipating the tail slide action. What we have got here is you know, an overlap, underlap, anticipation, follow through sort of action. You know, the suspension is taking the weight of the body as it comes round the corner. But then, of course, you know, it's spring loaded. So it pushes that body back the other way. And it's part of that push in the weight coming from the springs that causes the tail to get dragged back around. So you see it comes in harsh like this, but then that pop over you see how it plays and just overlaps slightly. It begins to spring back before, just an instant before the tail slides back the other way. So you see that gives us a nice little bit of overlapping, underlapping anticipation and follow through in the physics of our body mechanics here. It'll probably hold like that up until about this point. But then one, two, three, four, five, I'm going to say we'll give it a reset and I'm actually just going to push it ever so slightly back over. So it's just got that little wiggle in it. And one, two, three, four, 
to go back to absolute flat there. So let's give that a playback because that should look pretty cool coming through here. So here he comes, rattling down and wham, look at that. Look at that physic that you've got going on in the body there. It's nice if I zoom in on it. Here we should be able to see it very nicely. So come on, come on little car. Comes in, hammers round. See that? Wonderful. That's where you're starting to get real life now coming into this vehicle motion. So that's all pretty groovy. Now we're coming up to this slowed corner there. So let's just check it from top view so I can see the point at which he is really beginning to slow himself and break somewhat and it's really coming in just as he passes here isn't it so what i'm going to do is he's going to say let's say he's sort of touching the brake by this point around here and then we'll come forward one two three four five six seven eight and we'll have him dip forward like that of course as he started to now break and slow down into this corner we'll sort of hold until about there and now he starts to come around like this. We'll lift him up again a little bit. So of course, you know, a lot of that, that inertia from the action of braking, you know, the springs have pushed back and, you know, let the front come up again. And we'll give him just a little tip over on the side like this, because of course he is still, or the body and springs are still taking the weight as he comes across like that. Okay, we'll hold it not for long, just for let's say one, two, three, four, five frames like this. And then over the next one, two, three, four, five, six, we'll reset that back to straight. But then of course he starts to accelerate again. So four, five frames later, one, two, three, four, five, we'll pitch him back up like this. So he starts to, you know, really accelerate himself. Hold that for let's say one, two, three, four, five. And then over the next one, two, three, four, he'll come back to flat again. So let's see how that whole action is playing out for as it should look. So here we come, braking and accelerating out. You see the little bounce that we get on the body from that? Works out really nicely. Let me just bring that up a bit better in perspective view here so that we can see it all happening a bit more obviously. Comes in, brake, hard corner and dodges out of it, wonderful. Okay, so that's all good up until this point. Then he's taking a very sharp hard corner here. Does he slow down much as he takes it? I'm trying to remember, so let's just appraise ourselves of the facts of what he's doing. Yeah, he does a little bit, but then he starts to accelerate out of it quite swiftly. So I think the braking action will key off there. One, two, three, four, like this. And again, he's just touching the brake. And that scoots him forward ever so slightly like this. And as he starts to come round, he's still on the brake a little bit, but he's also started to tip out like that. Then we'll come another one, two, three, four, five, as he's really coming hard into that corner now. We'll put the pitch back to zero because he has started to really accelerate by this point, or he's you know hitting the hitting the gas again, and his roll is heavy because he's coming round fast. We'll come out to here, key that like this, and then over the next, look at that because he's drifting a lot there. So we'll keep that drift action in, very similar to what we had before. So there goes his, let's just double check what we've got going on here. Yep, 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 come around. Okay, so there's his hard drift like that. That's the point at which it's going to spring back. So one two three four five actually no because he's still drifting isn't he so one two three four five we'll hold it and then one two three four five six we'll reset it and begin to swing him the other way and also we'll bring him up on his pitch like this as he begins to accelerate himself out and try to correct himself and then by this point we'll have flattened him off again so let's take a good look here and see how that is playing for us. Coming round, hard drift. There we go. That looks pretty sweet, I think. Let's see it again, just to be sure. Yeah, really hard, hard bit of cornering there. Very good. Okay, so now he's coming up to his really fast drive in. We've also got a wiggle there, so I might actually work just a little more on that body since he comes over like that put a little dodge 
back to this side on him. One, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, one, two, three, four, five. Hold it. One, two, three, four. Dodge it back slightly the other way. One, two, three, four. Reset it back to zero. So again, we'll have him doing a little little bounce in the body as he spins it round like that. That's good. So there he is going through his very fast, you know, whip through here. So we're definitely going to have some lean at this point coming right into the corner. So pretty much immediately as he starts to turn here, I think. Not breaking at all, just going for it absolutely hammer down. One, two, three, four, five. Let's roll him a little bit. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Coming around much harder. Let's roll him even more. Really pitched into it. It's coming totally out there as he fishtails. Spin round, see how that looks. As he does the fishtail, we'll dodge him forward slightly as that breaks his forward momentum a bit. Like that. Then one, two, three, four. We'll hold it where it is. One, two, three, four, five, six. Start to swing him back. So we'll push his weight over to the opposing side slightly like this. And then we see his, you know, starts to drift back. We'll push him back the other way again. So a lot of body rocking going on here. Again, a little bit there. And finally back to square. So let's try and get a good view of how all of that is happening. Uh, we see that real bounce coming through, which of course will also help because he's hitting the, the curb there, isn't he? So let's see how that plays. Comes in harsh, very harsh, but a good bounce, good little roll and bob in the body going on. Very nice. So we've got the suspension acting there and of course taking the weight of the whole thing as he comes around like that. So very good looking. What do we get now then? Well, we get this double counter drift, don't we? As he tries to whip himself around to overtake, you know, come off the sidewalk and get around this car here. So at this point, he was square. We'll hold him square till about here. And then as he comes across like this, we'll dip his body back to this side. As he's sliding, hold it for four frames like that. Then one, two, three, four, dip it back the other way again. So again, the suspension's taking a lot here. And then dip it back, and then finally back to square. So he should, as he comes across there, does that little nuanced bounce. As we've got these competing forces there pulling the car all over the place. That works out, I think, quite nicely. Let's just view it again, so as we can see, yeah, that's pretty good, I do believe. So coming up to the handbrake now, this is going to be right in here. So there, hits the handbrake right here. So let's key him there. One, two, three, four, right down like this. Turns that way to begin with slightly, as of course he's, you know, pulling the steering over in that direction. We'll hold it for four frames as it is there. And then another one, two, three, four, five, six, I'm going to say. Rolled completely the opposite way like this. There we go. Big hard roll. Key it there to keep it held. Come forward. One, two, three, four, five. We'll have eased up a bit on the braking action. We'll have eased up a little bit on the body roll, but it's still holding pretty heavily. Keep it held for another three frames like this except we're going to put the pitch back to zero. So he started to lift up his front end by now. And then, of course, we're going to do that overlapped, you know, suspension roll slide thing again. So one, two, three, four frames. We dodge the body back this way. He starts to slide back over. Key that again. Come back around. Dodge ever so slightly back, just to doing a little bounce. Two, three, four, and then back to zero there. He comes up to his last corner just here. I do believe we had a little bit of braking ahead of this corner. Double check it here and yeah, slowing down some as he comes into that corner there. So there he is. Not a huge amount of slowdown. So let's just grab him at this point. Go one, two, three, four, five. Dip him down on his pitch just there. Starts to come into the round. We'll hold him at that point. 
and we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Lent right over, still pitched down. So he really rolls it round like this, coming in very hard. And one, two, three, four, five. We'll hold his body roll, or maybe just take a tiny bit off it, but we'll put his pitch back up because he's really started to sort of, you know, come off the break by this point. Then again, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, like this, roll him back the other way, possibly even have accelerated him, so lifting a little bit, come out another one, two, three, four, five frames, Let's reset his value. We can dodge him down a little bit this side as he takes the bounce and then reset him for around here. So we'll check that out in our perspective view and see how that has played for us. We also, of course, need to go back and check the handbrake turn in our perspective view. We'll do that in just a moment. Let's just double check this one first, seeing as we are here. Comes around, little break. Ah, very nice, very nice little action there. Taking the weight as he comes around the corner. Little bounce as he comes out of it. Very nice. You see where he lifts up. You get the front end lifting up there as he comes back down on the accelerator and runs across there. So let's go back to the handbrake. There it is. Let's just watch that also in perspective view. I'm going to come around from, I don't know, let's say this angle here so as I can sort of see it from two angles at once. Drop him back here. So there's the bounce. Oh, very hard handbrake there. Look at that. Really see that front end hammer down. That might be a little bit mistimed. Let's just double check all of that there. Actually, that's not bad. We really do get this sense of him hitting the brake very hard, and that causes his, you know, whole momentum to shift, and so he spins out completely like that. I think that really does begin to deliver an awful lot of action into the movement. Might be perhaps a little oversold, but I suppose if you think about it, you see he hits the brake here, but as he spins round, of course, let's imagine this is a rear wheel drive car. And of course, as he begins to spin, he's really hitting the accelerator, isn't he? And that's causing him to, you know, tail slide and fishtail out around here. So it's this very hard double pump on the brake and accelerator to try and run himself around that corner at high speed. I think that works out pretty well. So once again, it's back into our graph editor. We'll grab the pitch and bank channels for our body roller here. Make everything TCB spline, tension one, just to begin with, and then we'll pick through some of the actual details. See that some of these guys where we've got a bit of a hold can just be softened to give ourselves that slight overshoot. We can do the same for some of these here. I'll perhaps put them weighted slightly at the first. So of course he just overrolls more heavily and then begins to correct out, so to speak. I've got another one there that I can do. So we'll turn that off quite softly like that. A little bit of a head waiting on it. And there on the acceleration, I can just sort of roll that out to make that a bit smoother. And I've got some other ones here, which can go negative to, you know, oversell those curves like that somewhat. Similar thing I can do here. And of course, also just a little bit of over scoot on the top end like this. Again, just weight it off to make it nice and smooth through there. Do a similar adjustment on this short hold here, but not too much. Keep that reasonably tight. More of the same along these guys there. A little bit of the same on this fellow over here can see that I've also got that little in between there on the pitch, which I could delete, but I'm just going to swing it backwards slightly. Bit of a backswing I can put on that body roll action there, and I'll just give it a little bit of overshoot, just a touch there. Again, some slight overshoot on the acceleratory dip, or the braking dip as it is at that point there. A little bit of a scoot we can have here. See also an opportunity on my pitch channel there where I've got a hold in so I can put a little, you know, a little TCB bounce over that point. And coming across, we've got some more of those little, you know, hard rolls and bounces that we can have on all of this going on here. Be nice smooth actions taking place. And I've sort of got this fixed hold here in the bank channel. So if I 
undo that, then we'll get a little bit of wobble taking place across those few frames, which ought to look quite nice. Again, there's just little opportunities for, you know, just very soft, subtle little overshoots that you can put on here, just to introduce that extra little bit of, you know, overlap, follow through and wobbliness to it all. Give the suspension just that little bit extra spring in itself, which will help to sell the whole motion of all of these guys along the way. There we go, just a few little ones here and there. It will be very subtle, the kind of motion that you get out of this, but it will, you know, be very worthwhile. There we go, all of that is taken care of there. And again, we'll just backswing there to smooth that out. So with all this done then, we're ready for the playback. So there he goes, bit of a lift off as he, you know, hits the accelerator hard through there, coming along here, all nice and straight. Coming up to that corner, yeah, we get a bit of suspension roll going on in there, very attractive. Bit of braking as he comes around there, looks very good. We're really getting that sense of, oh, there we go again. Nice bit of character working in, hard brake around that corner as he take, as the body and suspension takes the weight. Slow down here, there we see the braking and the lift off as he starts to accelerate again, looking lovely hard into that corner there like he's on a rail lots of bounce through boom right through into that section coming up nipping around there hard turn into this corner a little bit hard into this one but reasonably good wonderful now he looks fast he really looks like he's gunning it the final thing we need to work on then is just his steering here the actual wheel steering Obviously, with, you know, a lot of car rigs, as I mentioned before, you might have things like automated steering or whatnot, but probably most of the time in a situation like this, where he's doing a lot of slides and whatnot, automated steering would work against us. So it is nice to have a spot of manual control over it. So what I'm going to do is largely view this from the top view here, um, and I've switched to wireframe view so as I can actually see the wheels themselves like that turning. So let's go along and see what we need to do when. We see that he begins to steer out here. So what I'm gonna do is find a frame somewhere around there, I think, and key his steering. And by here, we'll have turned it a little bit like that. By here, we'll have turned it a bit more. So you see I'm more or less lining the wheels up with the direction here if anything, perhaps overselling them ever so slightly, just so as, of course, they preempt the steer that he's making like this. And for all of the turns that he's got going on here, we've probably got a little bit of detail that we will need to key up. Obviously, when he's doing lots of straight run like this, the wheels will hold broadly straight, perhaps ever so slightly turned over to point to the direction in which he is going along. So we start picking through like this. Again, he starts to make a little turn around here. So I'll hold them there and bring them round just to scotch like that at this point, turning in. So keep them over, wait for him to start, you know, planing back out, which happens here. So I'll keep them round like this. He begins to plane out there. We'll turn them back this way so you see the wheels holding the turn there. As he comes round, he's really steering hard by this point, coming out like that, really pushing those wheels round, take the curve up until about here. Begins to pull them back reasonably hard and fast like that. And then they even back out to about here. So again, you see what we're doing with the wheels there. Let me just zoom in on this from top view a little bit so you can see them somewhat more clearly. They're sort of preempting what the body does. There's something of an anticipation, if you like. And you see little bobs and corrections in those as well. And that is broadly the pattern that we are following here. Okay, so we see them turn up there. So we'll hold them about there, bring them out a bit. We started to edge his wheels that way. It's coming around, so we hold them back. Turning hard, so we push the wheels over. Yep, so again, the wheels ever so slightly preempt the movement of the body. Turning very hard by this point, get them round like that. 
There he is. Start to pull them back and correct them back this way. Back again as he's trying to hold that weave and then keep them straight here. So we see the wheels do that little scoot like this. He's starting to widen away from the side here so we'll just keep the wheels ever so slightly over there. Let's just check the in-between. Yeah that works. Now coming from here this is of course pretty much where he almost begins to go into his turn so we'll actually hold that right up until here so 422 is where we'll have that key in. Let me just make sure I do get a little in-between in there somewhere. And from that point, we'll go one, two, three, four, five. He really starts to turn them hard like this. So they're really coming round hard like that into his slide, stay like that, more or less pointing towards where he's going to be going. Comes here, whips them back in the other direction to try and counter steer to hold himself, pulls them back again like this, and then finally straight. Again, if we watch this carefully in top view there, see the wheels ever so slightly anticipating the movement and turn of the body there to hold him, you know, on the road, hold him in his chosen direction of travel as he fights the steering against his tail slides and actions like that. He's going to be making a little pop out here to try and avoid that next car. So we'll hold the steering until about there and one, two, three, four, turn it out like that. That pops him out, hold it, one, two, three, four, spins it back, correct himself there, back into line. Now coming up to this very fast turn, let's have a look at the point at which we need to be steering this. So he's steering pretty much from then onwards in a very slight steer like this. And as he comes round, that's harder. So the wheels are coming over much harder there. Comes round here, really hard over, right hard over on his steering like that. As he spins out this way, swing them back, counter steer to try and hold there the road. You can see it in the camera view there. We're keeping the wheels pointed more or less in his direction of travel, holding right up until this point. Then he swings out and the tail nips out by that point. Swing them back again like this. He's trying to hold it. Comes here, swing back. Good. Up until there, they've pretty much reset now. Again, if we watch that through, you can see how he's working those front wheels, trying to hold himself. Pulls out here. He's about to make a very fast nip the other way. So little turn like that. Over he comes holding till about here and he whips them back again correcting himself out like that and then coming back to straight very quickly coming along now to our hard braking point and, and he's drifting slightly as he does so so we just turn the wheels there and just check along the in between that all looks pretty good now we hold till about here which point he starts to turn off a little like this, so again just preempting the direction of travel like that somewhat. Soft turn for the minute but we've hit the brake there, coming much harder over now as he's making the corner, keep them hard over as he's turning into it, as he comes around it begin to again straighten them out, matching into the direction of travel again. And there we go, back again like this. We see that's the point at which we did have the very minor tail slide on, so we'll just keep them again pointed over to the direction of travel of the vehicle itself, and then coming straight-ish by this point. So we see there, again, looking both from the top, let me again zoom in on the top so it's more obvious, you can see the wheels mesh there. See from the top and the perspective view there, get a very clear sense of the turn keeping the wheels in line with where he's traveling and continues to rattle along this road here, keeping a slight angle on his wheels there as he's of course, you know, drifting himself off to the side. Makes a hard turn from this point, well not hard, but you know, pronounced turn, so we'll hold the wheels there. And then here, we'll have turned them in to his direction of travel starting to ease out by this point. And of course the body is coming square so we'll keep the wheels square by that point 
by now he's starting to try and round himself for his next turn so we turn them off again here he is really coming into the turn now again we keep those wheels nice and pointed in the direction where he is going to be going like that coming round hard there hard and fast we keep the wheels hard over he's spinning out again we get there he begins to slide so I should really have those wheels held probably somewhere around this point and then as he slides out whip the wheels back again so there we are holding the drift beginning to straighten up now so we bring those wheels back in the opposite direction so there we go wheels drift and turn in pulling him round hard like that again out there his tail end is drifting but we keep the wheels over to match his direction of travel like that there by this point he started to pull out of it a little bit but he's still drifting slightly there we are let's find the point at which he comes level which is around here keep the wheels nice and flat at this point and he comes hammering along getting ready to make his turn so we'll hold the wheels at this point then we'll go one two three four five he's really starting to steer in like this quite aggressively coming around here very aggressive turn in see the wheels pointing where he's aiming to go comes to here total oversteer begins to slide whips his wheels back the other way try and hold it holds it pretty nicely up till there starts to pull them back which forces his body back around keep them back into line there comes off the edge with his little wobble he's drifting some more as we push the wheels hard over here to try and take that hard hard corner around this vehicle there just as he comes up here we're beginning now to even out again and there we are falling back into line by this point we can watch all of that coming through again keep a close eye to make sure that we're getting decent sort of action like that there you see the wheels fighting the turn and the slide as he's trying to hold it together you know keep himself on the road even though of course he does go off the road at that point there and now we're coming up to the hard handbrake so here we come and this is where he's really gonna go for some major oversteer so we'll key them at that point one two three four really pushing his steering like that drags him round total slide at that point comes around here wheels are still over like that far too much he fights pulls the steering wheel back the other way to try and counter steer himself and pull himself back holds up until around here that's good then whips it back again the other way taking again a bit more of a bounce wheels by now starting to hold more in the direction that he's headed there we go straightening out here so let's see that whole hard handbrake turn there as he comes up whoosh totally oversteering fighting the steering there to try and get himself back in the direction he wants to go very nice indeed coming along there starting to turn ready by this point set himself up for his next turn but along there we want to square them more so there we go again the wheels ever so slightly leading the action here he's now coming into his into his real turn from this point so let's just check how swiftly he needs to be turning we need to be turning quite notably at this point coming around there turning that a little bit harder really pushing it over as he comes around slides out brings the wheels to hold their line like this as he tries to correct himself we'll do a quick one two three four five pulling the wheels back again holding that there keeping them hard turned over to keep his line whips back just like this holding it out until about there and then of course back steering slightly and one two three four counter steering and there we go holding himself back flat so lots of action going on with these wheels get in again with the good old splines just tease them off before of course just you know working on the tcb values here to make them nice and clean give a smooth overall turn 
pretty much the exact same sort of thing that we've already seen a number of times with you know lots of the other items that we've keyed up along the way keep it all nice and smooth like the way through the whole action here obviously there'll be one or two sharp turns where he's you know dragging at the wheel pulling it over really hard and so we want to make sure that we keep some tight movements as it corners quite hard and there will even be some hold flats at certain points where of course you know he's bringing the wheel to lock which will mostly occur at the outer extremes so you won't get as much follow through or you know smoothness at those points you will get various points where the turn of the wheels themselves will lock out quite notably but generally you'll have a good few well smoothed actions going through your time range like this making sure to keep things largely clean make sure that one move especially when you're swinging between extremes as you see the, the swing at the outermost point is kept nice and clean and perhaps at points like this where you've got a double turn you can push those in between keys negative like this to really give some pop to how the turn takes place there there you go bringing things in nice and neatly here working carefully through all of the extreme points so as we don't get any ugly lumps taking place in our motion as you can see of course from the graph it is largely a whip one way whip back whip the other and you know maintain various holds at various points and that is largely what we are getting here so with that done we should be pretty much complete what i'm going to do is i'm just going to switch to the chase camera which i parented in here to the actual rig of the car to look at it um, i'm just going to bring this across to the front side so as i can actually look at him from the front edge with his steering and everything else taking place so this should give me a better idea of what he's looking like so we'll watch him from this view here and so let's give him the playback and see what we get so we're going along turning yeah wheels are looking reasonably decent coming round uh, yes that's a nice nice little turn there again of course the camera is largely locked to the car so of course it turns with it but we still should get a decent idea what those wheels are doing we see certainly where he's taking those hard corners there and having to make his corrections they are working out pretty well that's good through there a little bit of a wibble on the steering coming around again yeah we see that hard correction he's having to make wonderful little overshoot there yeah a little bit of a bit of a drift Whoa, really fighting around that corner there which is what we want that's good again some corrections in there so that is looking pretty decent so far i think at this point then we really are pretty much you know done with our guy here we've you know worked a lot on getting you know decent speed throughout to try and you know maintain some constancy to his action we've worked on the body mechanics of the physics to get the you know body roll and things like tail slide and whatnot going in there but we're also using that to try and create some sort of you know feeling of character and intention clearly this guy you know the way that he's driving he's really going for it hell for leather he's either mental and showing off or he's doing some sort of a getaway or something like that or he's just you know trying to set some sort of personal best time who really knows but any which way you cut it you do of course get the very clear feeling that this guy is in quite a rush so all that remains is to give it a final playback watch it all the way through and see what we think of it so he's nice and fast off the opening gate there and coming along the opening straight looking good building up speed and into the first bend here takes that quite quickly good lean on the body he's coming along second bend yup nice skillfully through there first corner quite quick but he holds it together nicely chicago very fast indeed coming up to the hammerhead slowing down a lot but sometimes the slower it looks the faster it is oh nice clean line through there and he's away coming up to the following corner takes that rather well as well coming through now to the follow through bit of lift off there shifts off over to the pavement 
Second to last corner, breaks far too late, look at that. Now into Gambon, takes it very fast, will he hold it? Yes, and across the line.